to include the pink sign in your video. Oh, I mean, my camera is like really not. <laughs> With your normal camera? I've got, I've got it, the key. Fart nugget, can you zoom in? Like super far. Oh my gosh. And be really dumb about it. I'm taking a video and you just call me fart nugget. Include emojis. Look at that pink sky. It's kind of funny how it looks like it's sitting right on this lamp right now. Like it's just a big glowing bulb, but that's the sun. I do that. Uh, well now we're too close to the pole. Oh, uh, hey, pole. Oh, oh, hey, pole. I'll uh, have to wait. Hey, pole. How you doing? Oops, you zoom out now? Can come a little bit better? Woohoo! Check out that sun! You check out that sun. Beautiful. Side. Also, we're leaving Target and Ross. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys. I have a story for you. Peter and I just went to Target and Ross, and just something real weird happened. So we went to Target to get some stuff and we were in the line and the lady was scanning all our stuff and she noticed a little cash. So she started talking to us, the cashier did, and she told us about how her son is almost one. And so naturally we're talking about our kids and I don't think we're taking very long by any means. We're chatting a little bit, but we're, you know, getting through the line. She's scanning our stuff, bagging it up, yeah, being friendly, whatever. And there's an old lady and her grandson behind us. And so as we're finishing it, it up, I'm grabbing the bags to put them in the cart. Like we are not taking a long time at all. Like not more than we should be. Uh, we walk out and like Peter seems a little bit bothered, but I was talking to the lady, so I don't know what, what happened. Uh, and Peter tells me that this old lady kind of started to pester him a little bit. She was like, can you hurry up? I have somewhere to be. And that's all she said, but it was in a rude tone and she was just being a turd, just a being rude and a look. Like she just, part of my language, but she was being a bitch. And when Peter told me, I was like, oh, that is so rude. Like I wish I had heard her, but I didn't. So then we go to Ross cause I want to get some little baby shoes for cash. They didn't have any at Target. So we find some shoes, we get in line and guess who's in front of us? That rude old lady who apparently was in a hurry and had somewhere to be. She's in front of us in line at Ross now. Cash is trying to grab my phone. Um, so Peter and I are kind of joking. We don't want her to hear us. So we're not really saying a lot. And we're talking really quiet, but we're not like, we didn't say very much. We're not, I, don't, I mean, I didn't think we were being weird, whatever. So she gets called to a register. She goes up and we're standing waiting because there's only two registers open. And so she's, she just got to one, the, uh, <laughs> this guy is helping at the other one. This guy in the other car sees me recording with my phone and he like was watching and smiled at me. Anyways, so I'm watching both lines to like, you know, just kind of have a sense of what's going on um, or like what line Ugh. is gonna open up first. Ugh. And I realized that the register that the old lady is at, that they're, the, the cashier is holding someone's phone who had lost their phone. So this person comes up to get their phone. I watch her hand it to the guy and I watch the, the guys walk out because I'm just watching what's happening while I'm waiting. And uh, I guess the old lady thinks I'm looking at her and she goes, I'm in a bouncy car, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but she goes like this to me. She looks at me and she goes, and I like, and I didn't really fully see it because I wasn't really looking at her, but I caught it and was kind of like, wait. So I turned to Peter and I was like, she just made a face at me. And Peter was like, what, or whatever. And so then I look back over at her and she goes like this at me. And I just am like, what the heck is going on? I didn't do anything wrong. My husband didn't do anything wrong. You are rude. So she, and I can tell she starts talking to the cashier about us because I can tell by the way she's talking and she's clearly like bothered. So we go to the other line. We get the baby shoes. Uh, we walk out and the old lady walks up behind us. She doesn't say anything. She just gets her kid in the car. Um, and so then I'm like, Peter, I'm going to go back in and ask the lady, ask the girl at the register what that lady was saying. So I go back in. I'm like, was that, I'm sorry, was that old lady saying stuff about us? And the girl goes, she says, um, yeah, she, she says that you guys were at Target and something happened in the line. And, and I was like, we were in line in front of her at Target and she started being mean to my husband and like telling him to hurry up and that she had somewhere to be. And then just now in line, 
I was looking, just watching the lines, just to see who was gonna finish first, and she went like this at me. And the girl started laughing. She was like, I saw that. I was wondering who she was making faces at. And I was like, yeah, it was me. Um, so basically I almost threw down with an old lady at Ross. I like thought about saying something, but I figured it wouldn't help because she's clearly just nuts. She's just a mean lady, obviously. Like, who does that? Who does that? In front of her grandson, too. Like, wow, what an example you are setting. Um, so, and like, so I didn't say anything because I figured she'd just be mean, but there's a little part of me that wishes I had fought her because I think I could have taken her. Um, <laughs> and I think people would have sided with me because she was mean. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's what just happened at the store, and I wanted to share with you guys, and I thought it would be easier to say rather than try to, like, type it up in a Facebook status. Yeah, so anyways, whoo pray for me, you guys. I, I, I was about to fight an old lady, so anyways, see ya.